I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test problems. Now this test problem is very common and similar kind of questions are expected in your test paper. The question here is, in oil pipeline, the cost of pipe to go underwater is 60% more than the cost of pipe used in dry land. A pipeline comes to a river that is 1 kilometer wide at point A and must be extended to a refinery R on the other side 8 kilometers down the river. Find the best way to cross the river so that the total cost of pipe is kept to a minimum. So let us first sketch a diagram. Let us say that's the river, right? So let's say that's the river. And uh, you come to a point here which is A. Let's say you are here at a point A and this river is 1 kilometer wide. So let me write down 1 kilometer as width of this river. So it is 1 kilometer, right? So that is the width of the kilometer, uh, river in kilometers. So that is the width, right? So this is the point A from where the pipe has to go to point R which is 10, which is 8 kilometer down the river. That means 8 kilometers from here, right? So, so let us see this point, okay, right? Okay, so this is the point R for us. Now there are a couple of ways we can go to this point. We could go straight, for example, that could be one path from A directly underwater. One path could be that we could go lay the pipe somewhere to point B and then from there run it to R, right? That could be cheaper since the underwater pipe laying cost is 60% more, right? So that's the whole idea. Now we have to find the path which will minimize the cost. So let us say that the pipe is laid diagonally like shown here to point B and then it is run to R along the ground. And since we have this dimension as one kilometer and we are given, uh, let us say this point is O for us, directly opposite. So what we know here is O to R is eight kilometers. So this distance is eight kilometers. Let us assume that O to B is X. In that case, B to R will be 8 minus X, right? So that is how we can, you know, lay or make our diagram, right? Now let us work out the cost. Now when it says the cost of pipe to go underwater 60% more than the cost of pipe used in dry land. So let us say that cost for dry land is let us say some unit one right in that case underwater will be how much in that case underwater will be 60 percent more or it should be 1.6 right we are not saying how many dollars or what units right it doesn't really matter so we can take convenient numbers to work with so that's the first thing now based on this and now we know this length we can find a b is the length of pipe underwater which will be laid at the cost of 1.6 units right some units and this b to r will be laid at the rate of one unit per meter right so we're not saying what how many dollars per meter but just general okay so that helps so cost of laying as a function of x could now be written as the distance a b right so distance a b which is you can see one square plus x square right so we have distance a b is one square plus x square square root that is the distance a b times the rate at which it costs us it is 1.6 times 1.6 plus the distance BR, which is 8 minus X. So we said 8 minus X times the rate, which is one unit. So that becomes the total cost of laying. You get an idea, right? So that is the total cost. Now, to minimize the cost, what we can do is, we can see what X could be. So from here, you can say that X could be 
zero if 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 we go diagonally instead of diagonally we go just right across x could be zero that means the minimum value is zero and the maximum for x is up to eight right so these are the boundary conditions for our variable x you can see that right so we can find the cost when x is zero and also when x is eight to compare the results with the critical number right so so we need to find cost when x is equal to zero we'll use calculator find this and we'll also find the cost when x is eight right so these two costs we can use calculator and find these costs let us find the critical number first so to find the critical number let's go for critical number so critical number is the number where the derivative is equals to zero right where the derivative is zero so let's find the derivative first which is in this particular case derivative of cost with respect to distance x is so 1.6 is a constant let me write 1.6 half of this so all this to the power of minus half so that comes in the denominator 1 plus x square times derivative of inside function which is 2x right so that is how you get derivative of this one here it is 8 minus x derivative of 8 is 0 let me write this as 0 and derivative of minus x is minus 1 right so that is the derivative for the cost function for the critical point this should be equal to 0 so let me equate this to 0 to find the critical number right now we can simplify this a bit so we say 2 and 2 cancels off and now we have to solve for this particular equation which is 1.6 x over square root of 1 plus x square minus 1 equals to 0 or is equals to minus 1 is that okay which taken on this side will become positive 1 correct so this minus 1 is 0 or this thing is equals to 1 to solve this we can cross multiply and find x so so we'll find the x 1 point x equals to square root of 1 plus x square so whenever you have square roots it is good idea to square both sides and then solve so let us square both sides let me just mark this well good do rest of the calculations here so when we find square we get 1.6 square x equals to 1 plus x square right uh, okay this is also squared because both sides we square so at this stage we are squaring both sides so we say square both sides so let's use the calculator and now find the answer so it is simplify bring it to this side so we get 0. Point, uh, okay sorry let us use the calculator find what is 1.6 square 1.6 square equals to in decimals 2.56 so okay so we have 2.56 x square take away minus x square equals to 1 so we'll take away 1 from here minus 1 that that gives me in decimals 1.56 right so 1.56 x square is equals to 1 or x is equals to square root of 1 divided by 1.56 right and that is so we'll say now square root of 1 divided by 1.56 equals to in decimals it is 0 0.8 approximately right so 0 0.8 is the value of x so critical number is at x equals to 0 0.8 so now we need to calculate the value of cost when x is 0 0.8 so these are the three values which we should calculate and whichever is minimum will be our answer correct right? so let us find out the answer for zero cost is how much so that is the expression for cost so if x is zero we get square root of one which is one times 1 1.6 so it is 1 1.6 plus eight right minus nothing so plus eight equals to we get in decimals 9.6 so when x is 0 we get the answer here as 9.6 if I substitute 8 here I get square root of 
1 square which is 1 plus 8 square 64 equals to times 1.6 equals to plus 8 minus 8 will be 0 so so plus 0 and so we have in decimals this value as 12.89 now let me substitute point 8 and then see the result so we have square root of 1 plus 0.8 square equals to times 1.6 equals to plus within brackets 8 minus 0.8 right times 1 is the same thing so we get something which in decimals is 9.248 so as you can clearly see we get the minimum cost at the critical number right so we can say when the pipe is laid x units that means 0.8 from the opposite side and this side will be B2R will be 7.2, right? So this will be 7.2 for us, correct? So that is how we can get the answer. So we can write down the answer as that it should be uh, 0 0.8 kilometers from directly across, directly positive end or you can also say 7.2 kilometers uh, from R right from R so that is how you can write down the answer the important steps here are that first get your equation by defining your variables find derivative and it's kind of very important to check with the boundary conditions what gives you the minimum cost and then write down your answer I hope that helps thank you and all the best